Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are y'all doing out there? As they say in Texas, how y'all doing out there? Good morning, good morning, guys. You know who it is. It's the one and only, the California kid. Good morning, guys. I'm here in uh, good old Chicago. If you never had a chance to come, I highly recommend you should. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Specifically, if you get a chance to stay on um, what they call the Magnificent Mile. But listen, guys, I've got about 20 minutes here really quickly. Going to really break down. Uh, we're going to talk about recruiting. As many of you know, for the last, for about the last, uh, about the last month or so, all the videos that have been done have been mainly focused on uh, the topic of recruiting. And as I've shared with you before, the reason being is recruiting is the number one and most important skill of your entire life. And uh, what we're going to do this morning, guys, good morning, good morning. What we're going to do this morning is we're going to really go ahead and, and begin to really rehash that specific topic. Uh, in recent videos, I talked about uh, how to recruit, what to do, all the different philosophies that uh, surround recruiting. I, I've spoke on that, but uh, here recently over the last you know, last you know week or so, many of you have heard the big announcement that I've made upon the, the new company that I've actually chosen to partner with. And so it's one thing for me to teach you what to do and so forth, but it's another thing for you to actually see me do it. Um, and here it is again, we've come to this company and we've broken records here the very first week and um, we've done some incredible things here and we're just getting started. And the good news is didn't bring anybody from the last company, didn't need to do that at all. This is all new people, this is all new people. And so the point of what I'm saying is, is that I don't just talk the talk, it's also nice that I walk the walk. And so I can tell you that these philosophies, these principles that we're teaching about on recruiting, they really do work. They really do work. And so um, many of you know that on t today, which is Sunday, today at uh, 4 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern, we have our, our, uh, our Keep It Pro training call. Uh, and I'm going to be doing that call today. That call is open to anybody that is in direct sales or network marketing. Um, it doesn't matter what company you're involved in. It's a call that we do every Sunday, and we train people on the specific skills on how to get to the top of their company. Doesn't matter what company you're with. We don't mention company names. We don't even talk about products. We just talk about how to build the business. And uh, today, I'm going to be actually the one uh, hosting and also doing that call. And guess what topic we're going to be talking about? Recruiting. So those of you who are getting an early dose of it this morning, I know um, it's 930 here. I'm off to the gym <laughs> in just a minute. Uh, so it must be about 7.30 back home in California and 8.30 there uh, in uh, the East Coast. So some of you guys are getting ready for church. But anyway, listen, let's go ahead and make the best use of our time that we're here this morning. And let's really dive into recruiting. I realize that this video is going to make its way all the way around the world. And I'm sure many of you that maybe I'll never have a chance to talk to will be inspired, moved, or, uh, or helped by this video. So what I want to do is I want to go back and I want to get you to understand recruiting is all about confidence. Uh, many people oftentimes ask, well, what do you say? How do you say? Who do you call? Da, 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 da. Listen, look, always remember in all that you do, always remember in all that you do, always remember in all that you do, there's nobody in the world any greater than you. So you have to understand that you come from greatness. Um, you really do. I mean, I know that you may be in a tough spot right now. Maybe this whole process of recruiting may be new to you. Uh, you know, uh, maybe you've got fear in your head. I mean, look, we've been there. All of these, <laughs> all of these locations, I've I've been there. I, I understand. You know, but you you have to somehow find it deep inside of yourself to believe that in all that you do, it's really true. Nobody in the world is any greater than you. Nobody in the world is any greater than you. Now there are some people that may be further along than you. Some people that. Uh, you know, they may have been doing it longer than you. They may have better results than you right now, but nobody is any greater than you. You can, you've got to learn to stop putting people on a pedestal. As long as you, you can be inspired, you can be inspired. You know, you can have people that you look up to and those, these types of things, but you have to stop putting people on a pedestal. At the end of the day, we all put our pants on the same way. We have issues, we have problems. We all need to eat. We all need to take showers. 
we're all virtually the same, okay? The only difference is, is that some of us are now just getting on the treadmill. Some of us have been on the treadmill for 10 minutes, and some of us have been on the treadmill for 20 years, okay? So we make, we, we make it look very easy to be on the treadmill. And that's just an analogy that I'm giving you. The point of the story is you've got to, first of all, first of all, before you begin the game of recruiting, you've got to understand that there's nobody any greater than you. You do matter. I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm just a coach. That's all I am. I'm a young man that has a strong vision, knows who he is, and knows his purpose. I want you to understand that you matter. You have to get that in your thick skull, okay? And I know that for some of you that are going through some tough times, uh, some of you are new to this, like I said, you still must know that you matter. You got to know that nobody's any greater than you. And the reason why I spend so much time on this particular point is because sometimes, you know, you're, you, 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 it's over before it ever even starts. Sometimes it's over before it even ever starts. Meaning you've already told yourself, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I'm not. You've already said all of these things in your mind that you've already said, and it's already stopped you before you ever begin. And so what I want to do is I want to speak to you before I tell you what to do and how to do. That's the easy part. Let's talk about the part that you can't see. Let's talk about the the inside of you. Let's talk about the the, 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 the self-talk that's going on. Let's talk about what it really takes to become great at recruiting, okay? First of all, you have to accept the fact that recruiting is your life. You've recruited your problems, you've recruited your spouse, you've recruited your health condition, you recruited everything that you've got going on, okay? Your problems, your bills, your cars, your job, you have recruited. You need to understand that sports teams, colleges, churches, you know, uh, big companies, everybody recruits. Hell, you recruited your boyfriend, you recruited your girlfriend, you recruited your wife, everybody recruits. That's what it is. No, let's just call it what it is, okay? And so recruiting is very important. Recruiting is life. And if that's going to be uh, what my life is all about in terms of the quality recruits that I draw into it, then maybe I ought to get better at this, right? Right? Maybe I ought to take some time and really become a master at recruiting, okay? And that's what that, that I've heard a couple people say, well, Man, you've been training on recruiting for a long time. Yes, and I'm going to continue training on recruiting for a long time. Why? Because the beautiful part about this industry of network marketing, one recruit can change it all. One recruit can change it all. You know. And if you're listening and you're already saying, well, I make six figures a year, well, congratulations, good, great, great, great. So what, okay? Um, six figures a year, you're still broke. That ain't no money. Anyway, here's the point of what I'm saying. One recruit can take you, one good recruit can take you, it can change it all. But what I want to do is not teach you to get lucky. I want to teach you how to be on purpose. I want to teach you how to be able to recruit at will. I want to teach you how to recruit anyone, anytime, anywhere. I want to teach you the philosophy of recruiting. I, I want to break this down so much that somebody that doesn't have the luxury or the pleasure of having a proven upline, an upline that really knows what they're doing, not an upline who just got lucky. I want, I want, I'm talking to somebody today that maybe they're local, maybe they're international, but I'm talking to somebody out there today that I know is going to be, uh, you know, touched in a big, big way. It's going to be affected by this video because most people, most trainers, most coaches, they want to tell you what to do, okay? They want to tell you to go read this book, go read that book, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying that they're giving bad advice, but I want to give you the whole story. To become great at recruiting. I didn't say to get lucky. To become great at recruiting, to become great, okay? I want to show you how to become, if, if recruiting is your life, if your life is dependent upon recruiting, then why not become great at it? I want to show you how to become great at recruiting. And hopefully that's something that you desire to learn. If not, it's no big deal. Turn the channel. Okay? So to become great at recruiting, you have to first of all accept that your life is, it, it, your life is, you know, your, your life, the quality of your life is in direct proportion to the quality recruits that you draw into your life. <laughs> The quality of your life 
is in direct proportion to the quality recruits that you draw in to your life. So you need to accept that you are recruiting. Yes, you are. You're even when you're not talking, even when you're not saying anything, you're quiet and you, you know, these are just my friends and I feel comfortable here and I feel comfortable there. You still are recruiting. Okay. You are attracting. You're constantly, constantly, there's a there's a constant beacon, you know, of energy that's emitting off of you all the time. So you're attracting. So I want I want you to understand, number one. Number one, if you're writing this down, you've got to accept that recruiting is your life. You must accept that. No bones about it. Number two, you must accept that you, you must accept that sometimes I take notes on myself. <clears throat> so number two. Is you must accept that. Confidence. Confidence is the biggest part of recruiting. Confidence is the biggest part. I didn't say arrogance. I said confidence. Okay. Confidence is the biggest part of recruiting. Okay. So this is what I want to focus on this morning because I only have, like I said, uh, just a few moments here before I'm off to the gym. And then for those of you that want to hear more uh, for about an hour, uh, you need to join us today at four o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Central, seven o'clock Eastern. That's a conference call. If you look on my Facebook page here, you will see the actual uh, flyer. Uh, it, you know, I've got an ugly suit jacket. <laughs> I don't like that suit jacket that I'm wearing in that picture. But anyway, um, it uh, the phone number is there. And if you're calling in from international, it's fine. Today at 4 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Central, I'm going to be the host and also the one training in great detail on this topic. If you see the flyer there, the flyer is entitled, It's Time. That's the name of the flyer, okay? So, confidence is what we want to spend our time on this morning, okay? Confidence in relation to recruiting. Recruiting is your life. You must accept that. So, to become great at recruiting, you must understand the importance for confidence. I want to talk to you about confidence. Some people call it swag. I want to talk to you about, I want to break this thing down for the women and for the men, for the boys and the girls, okay? I want to break it down. Confidence, guys. Confidence comes from a series of little wins. Okay, let me say that again. Let's take it all the way back, baby. Let's take it all the way back. You remember when you was born? Some of you probably don't even remember that. Okay, When you were born okay, and you started to try and walk, you would fall down. You would fall down. And then you would get back up and you'd try again. And you would get fall down again. And then you would get back up and you would try again. And then you would fall down again. And then you would get back up and you would try again. Woo! Let me tell you what I love about you. You kept trying. Let me tell you what I love about you. You kept trying. You kept trying. And so persistence always beats resistance, okay? And so you continued to persist. And eventually you, you took your first step. Ah, ah, right? And then you took the second step. Ah! And then you took another step and another step. And next thing you know, look at you. Look, uh-oh, mommy, look at me. Daddy, look at me. Look at me. I'm walking, right? That was you. Regardless of race or gender, that, that was you. That's the process. Here's the point. Here's the principle. Here's the principle. You continue to try. You never stop trying to walk. Now, some of you walked faster than others. Some, some of you were walking at, you know, two months or whatever. And then some of you took a little bit longer to walk. But by the time you were three years old, all y'all was walking, okay? My, what's my point? My point is this. Confidence comes from a series of little wins. To get the little wins, you have to keep doing it. You got to keep doing it. So there's so many things that affect your confidence, okay? So many things. You know, I, I, let, let's, let me just share with you. Let, let's, 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 if, we, if we're going to really dive in here, how much time do I have? What time is it here? What time is it? I can't see. Oh, okay. I got nine minutes. All right. So if we're gonna if we're gonna dive into confidence here, let's let's talk about what fake confidence is first, really quickly. Fake confidence is when you go buy cars, you go buy big houses, all of a sudden you want to go lift weights and get big muscles and or you go get boobs or you go get a fake booty or you go get some type of enhancement or 
whatever, or you go, you, you, you do things that you're doing them for the purposes of drawing attention to yourself. And when you do that, it's, it's, it, it, it really reveals uh, an insecurity. Now, wait a minute, let me back up here. I have nothing against uh, augmentation. I have nothing against it. I'm, matter of fact, I'm a fan of it, okay? <laughs> I have nothing against that, nothing. I'm speaking to when you do it for the purpose of, I want to be noticed more. When you do it for the purpose of, come look at me, watch me, watch me, you know, look at my new car. You know, when you do it for that reason, and you know who you are, that's what we call fake confidence. When you're the person that wants to talk all big and act all bad or act all smart, but really you're insecure on the inside, that's what we call fake confidence, okay? So these are fake things, okay? Fake confidence. Fake, another form of fake confidence is when you've gotten lucky where you've achieved a level of success one time and you really don't know how you got there, but you're promoting and you know acting like, oh my goodness, I know what I'm doing and I can teach anybody and da-da-da, and all of a sudden I'm an expert. That's fake confidence. That's fake. Fake confidence is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Why? Because you know yourself it ain't real. And you're trying to act like it is real. And when you do that, you really are really sliding down a slippery slope a very slippery slope because you know <laughs> you can't fool you. Let's put it that way. You can try and fool everybody else, but you cannot fool yourself. When you're naked and you're in the shower, you know who you really are. Does that make sense? I hope you really understand that. Give me a thumbs up if you understand what we're saying now about fake confidence. So here's what we're going to do. We've talked about fake confidence now, okay? Let's go ahead and talk about real confidence. Real confidence, ladies and gentlemen, real confidence comes from a series of little wins. A little bit of time. You know, you've heard the, you've heard the word yard by yard, it's hard, but inch by inch, it's a cinch. So, little, so confidence comes from a series of little wins. Just little wins. Little wins, okay? Let me give you an example. I'm going to break this thing down for you so elementary uh, that you'll never be confused. You'll never, ever, ever be confused about, uh, about, about, about confidence. You'll, you'll never be confused. So, for example, let's just talk about something everybody's familiar with, going to the gym. Okay. Well, obviously, when you first go to the gym, you feel insecure. You feel you do not feel confident. Matter of fact, you look at the weights, the weights look at you, and y'all y'all look at each other like, man, y'all have never met before. <laughs> you look at the treadmill, the treadmill look at you, and y'all look like, man, who are you? Who are you? Uh, hello. You know, you get on it, you start pushing buttons, and it's like, okay, wait a minute, how do I do this? You know what I mean? Wait, what speed is this? Okay, what incline is this? And it's just, y'all not acquainted. Y'all don't know each other. Y'all have not spent no time together, okay? So, Therefore, you don't feel as confident because it's new. It's, it, it's not something you've done a lot, okay? Or maybe you used to do it and you haven't done it in a long time and you're getting back into it. So that's just an example of the treadmill. Perhaps maybe you're riding a bike and you get on it and, you, and all the seat feels a little funny and you know you get to riding and you just, you just man, wait a minute here. My, my pedaling is off and I don't have my rhythm and I just don't have my groove. Or maybe you go and you're doing your exercise class and you get in there and you used to kill it and you used to do it. And now, you know, two minutes into it, whoa, whoo, whoo, oh my God, you're out of shape. Okay. My point is we're talking about confidence. In the beginning, when you first start, it's going to feel foreign. It's going to feel weird. It's going to feel different. But I want to tell you something. That's how you know you're growing. That's how you know it's working. Okay? If you are super confident at everything, then you ain't growing at nothing. Write that down. If you are super confident at everything, then you ain't growing at nothing. I'm going to say it again. If you are super confident at everything, everything, that means you're not growing. So the process of growth goes all the way back to when you were a little boy or a little girl and remember you just started to do it and you fell down and you did it again and you did and you fell down and you got up and started trying to walk again and you fell down but you kept trying until one day you were finally able to walk 
And then came your confidence. And you walk in and you walk in and look at me walk. And then you started to try and run and you fell. And you got back up and you went back to walking. And you tried to run again and you fell. And you got back up and you started walking and you tried to run again and you fell. My point to you is this. We're talking about confidence. If you're just joining us, confidence comes from a series of little wins. So what you have to do is you have to keep doing it, okay? You have to keep doing it. Little by little, you're going to get better and better. Your confidence, you're going to get more familiar with it. You're going to get, but see, here's the problem. When you stop doing it, all of a sudden, all the, you, you're digging up the seed. What does that mean? Well, when you start to invest your time into anything, ooh, ooh this is going to be good for you. When you start to invest your time into anything, that is a seed. You are planting a seed or an investment, okay, of time. So if I start going to the gym, for example, and you know, you know, and I, you know, I start going, and you know, I start going again tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And next thing you know, I got three three months under my belt. Next thing you know, I got six months under my belt. Next thing you know, I got a year under my belt. But then I take three years off. I'm digging up the seed of time that I've invested for the last year. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense to you. So what we're saying is confidence is built upon a series of little wins. You got to keep doing it. 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 Okay. Because the more you do it, you'll start to find a rhythm. Okay. You'll start to find a rhythm and you have to know that success and rhythm are synonymous. Woo! You got to know success and rhythm are synonymous. Success and rhythm are synonymous. Okay. So when you find a rhythm, you're going to notice their success. When you find a rhythm, their success. When you find that. So this is what I want to share with you. Recruiting is about confidence. That's what it's about. Okay. So what I want you to do, because I got to, I got to get off here and I got to go downstairs to the gym here so I can get my swag on. Okay. So what I want to tell you really quick before we get out of here and I'll see you again uh, this afternoon on the conference call. So make sure you listen in. Don't miss it. It's going to be fire. I'll tell you that much. Listen, what I want to tell you before I get out of here is that this recruiting thing, guys, this is your life. This is your life. And it's predicated upon your confidence. So what I want you to do, just do yourself a quick favor. Grab a piece of paper. Real, just grab a piece of paper anywhere. I don't care. Just grab it. Grab it right now. Grab a piece of paper and write down all the things, all the things that you're confident in. Write down. When I, th this is what I want you to write. When I do this, I feel confident. Write it down. When I do dot, 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 I feel confident. And what are those things? Write down all the things that when you do them, you feel confident. Question number one, write it down. All the things that you do that make you feel confidence. Now, second thing is, second question, second assignment. Why is it that I'm so confident in the in these things. Why is it that I'm so confident in these things? And watch the answer. I want you to watch the answer that you write down. Why is it that you're so confident in those things? It's because you've invested time in doing them and doing them and doing them and doing them. So what I want you to understand as it relates to recruiting and as we're talking about confidence, what you have to do is you have to do all the things that make you feel confident as a person. So if working out makes you feel confident, you need to do it. If reading makes you feel confident, you need to do it. If, if kissing your husband or your boyfriend, girlfriend, you need to do it. Whatever, it. whatever it takes to get you to feeling good about yourself. Now, I'm not talking about no fake feel good. Let me explain something to you. Some people talk about, do I go to the gym for big muscles? No, 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 no. I'm not, I, look. I'm not interested in being a bodybuilder. I have nothing against bodybuilder or physique guys. I got a lot of friends in that world. I love those guys. That's not what I do it for. I'm not interested in that. What I do it for is for the spark, for the confidence. That's what I do it for. I love the fight against me because if I can fight against me, I dang on sure can fight against you. Woo! 
I'm going to say that again. If I can push myself, okay, then I can get in the ring and push you around too. And when I say the ring, I don't mean that. I don't take that in a bad way, folks. I'm saying if I can get in there and fight against me, because, you know, the toughest fight, the, the toughest opponent you're ever going to fight is the one in the mirror. Oh, that, that boy, that girl, she's a bad mama jamma. That person in the mirror, they bad to the bone, okay? If I can get in the mirror and I can fight against me, and sometimes, you know, little Moss, you know, tries to get big Moss, you know what I'm saying? And then sometimes big Moss knocks out little Moss. But you know what? It's a it's a dance. I'm telling you, it is a it is a barn burner, <laughs> but it's a fight. It's a daily fight. And so the reason why I go to the gym is I like the fight. I like the push. I like it. I like it like that. <laughs> and that's why I do it. So what happens is because I push against me and, and, and I push and I push and I push and it's not easy. And sometimes I want to quit. I'm letting you know it's not, it gets, it hurts. It does hurt. Yes, it does hurt. But when it gets hard, I do it hard. Okay. It does hurt. Yes, it does. But what happens is then when I now come on this Facebook live or I sit in front of a prospect or I'm doing a presentation with a couple I've never met before or I'm helping a team member grow or whatever I'm doing, that's easy. That's easy because I bring me to the party. I bring me to the dance. I hope you get that. I bring me to the party, you know, because I've been working on my confidence. I've been working on myself. And so if I, if I, if I can look in the mirror and say, good job. Moss, I'm proud of you. Way to go. Keep it up. Then I can bring that energy to the actual meeting. I can bring that energy. Now, what is the meeting? I'm not talking about a home meeting. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about when you meet a prospect on the phone, face to face. Well, I can bring that guy to the dance. Give me a thumbs up if it's making sense to you. I can bring that guy to the dance versus, well, I don't know. I don't know about my life. I'm not really sure. I'm really low self-esteem and I just don't think I'm ever going to be successful. And, but you should follow me. And I think I have a really good opportunity for you. And I swear, I, I reckon you do really well at this. I really do. I really believe that uh, this is, could be something that we could do big things. And uh, I just think that uh, I'm just getting started. It's been really tough for me, but I, I think that you would just do quite well. And if you would just sign here and give me your credit card, I, I believe that uh, I, I, I can, I could, I could kind of help you. I, if I, I can give it my best, I try my best. I, I'm not so sure, but I try. <laughs> do you get the message? Thumbs up if you do. Oh man, I gotta go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great talking to you. Always remember, always remember, always remember this, okay? In all that you do, listen to me, boy. All that you do, there's nobody in this world any greater than you. In all, always remember, in all that you do, there's nobody. I said nobody. Boy, did you hear what I said? Did you hear me, boy? Nobody is any greater than you. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. Lady. That's so important, guys. That's so important. That's so vitally important. Because if you don't think you're enough, you're right. But if you know that you know that you know that you know you that you know that you are enough, you're also right. So ladies and gentlemen, confidence, confidence, confidence. Continue to smile, be kind to people. Always work on yourself. Always do things that make you feel better about you. Trust me, the deeper you dig, the higher you go. The deeper you dig, the higher you grow. The deeper you dig into and start to work on yourself and push yourself. And I can tell you this, one of the things I always train people on is I tell people, if you want to emotionally strengthen yourself, if you want to emotionally get stronger, physically challenge yourself. Go work out. Because when you physically challenge yourself, sometimes you want to quit, okay? And what is it? What does it take to push you over the edge in a physical challenge? Your emotion, your emotion. Sometimes your muscles give out and your will kicks in, okay? So remember this. Remember what I'm saying to you. You, I'm talking to you. That if you want to get stronger emotionally, 
Physically challenge yourself. It can be walking, running, weightlifting, whatever. Physically challenge yourself in the pursuit of that physical challenge. When the mind wants to give out, but when the body wants to give out, but the mind doesn't want to tap out, there's a dance. There's a dance. And it's right there in that, that moment. That's when confidence shows up. And sometimes you tap out. And sometimes you tap back in. Sometimes you tap out for 10 seconds and get back on it again. And that's when the muscle of confidence, it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows. And as that grows, so does your bank account. As that grows, so, so does your life. Everything changes when confidence shows up. We're going to talk today. Make sure you don't miss that call. That call is going to be fire. We're going to talk about recruiting and we're going to talk about confidence. That's what we're talking about. I'll see you on the call. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Ah. <sighs>